The Jitex Global 20 Thank You Vibe. Start with a brief about your presence at Jitex. What are you showcasing this year? Thank you very much for the invite. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. So for this year, Food Internet has several areas uh, where we focus on. Uh, one of them is uh, the operational technology, which is uh, still extremely important for us. Uh, one of the more interesting things that we've uh, uh, we've included also this year is now a uh, sort of a mobile uh, emergency kit that contains everything you need in one briefcase. Uh, to uh, effectively uh, create a network and connectivity. This could be a location where there has been an outage, critical location, or it could be uh, just uh, an environment where there normally isn't any network uh, present, but something is urgently needed. So it's effectively a briefcase that comes with the security building, uh, Wi-Fi building, as well as wireless connectivity to the network uh, uh, over internet. Uh, the other thing is uh, SASE, and uh, especially within the region, uh, Sovereign SASE is uh, an important part. Uh, uh, within Middle East, uh, we see a huge demand on pretty much every region and country to have data uh, to remain uh, within the uh, country borders of sovereignty. Um, what we're looking at is uh, uh, different options on uh, uh, building these local pops like we have in UAE already. Uh, we have also in Qatar and Saudi Arabia dedicated uh, pops for SASE. Uh, but uh, we have the sovereign SASE solution now as well that allows each customer effectively to create their own POP. This could be on their own data center or could, uh, could be built uh, in a, any location that they prefer. Uh, so th those are, I would say, the main focus points uh, along with the artificial intelligence. Um, especially on the SecOps, um, we see a huge demand on uh, assist-based uh, generative AIs that will uh, uh, absolutely be a, a, a key uh, factor for any corporation uh, looking to deploy AI. Okay. Uh, how is Fortinet investing in the region to strengthen support for your uh, local customers and partners? So we do that in uh, many parts. So one of them is uh, people. So personnel, we're hiring more uh, sales, we're hiring more support uh, engineers within the region. And then of course, uh, our channel partners. So we have uh, the channel team growing as well to uh, uh, effectively uh, reach out to uh, more of our partners as well as uh, uh, our customers. Now, on the uh, solution side, we talked about the data sovereignty already. So we are building POPs. We're investigating on the countries where we don't have them yet, how to uh, deploy, uh, looking at locations where to, uh, where to deploy, them, uh, uh, deploy them as well. Um, we've also uh, uh, made our training program free. So uh, Fortinet's uh, network uh, security expert program is completely free to, uh, to access. Anybody can actually download and uh, view the content. So that allows uh, even uh, students uh, to, uh, to review our solutions and products and learn them. Uh, we have uh, dedicated, uh, uh, dedicated programs with universities as well as uh, for uh, primary school students to have content for uh, discussing about cybersecurity and uh, get the children already aware of the, the risks uh, that exist today. Okay. Uh, you briefly mentioned uh, AI as well being integrated into the solutions. Uh, how do you think these uh, capabilities boost uh, security effectiveness um, today? So the, the AI basically, it is, it is not a replacement of anybody. Uh, uh, it's more of a uh, force multiplier, I would say. Uh, what it allows the administrators, if it's uh, as an example, SOC or NOC administrators, it really allows them to uh, do their work a lot faster. So uh, there's the aspect of uh, providing assistance and help. Um, one of the most important things I would say is the uh, troubleshooting functionality on the AI. Um, if we take an example where you have a, a customer that is running a downtime to migrate or change something in the network, and let's say there's a 15 minute downtime scheduled, your downtime is not going to be 15 minutes. You have maybe five minutes to do the actual migration, and then if something goes wrong, another five minutes to figure out where the problem is, and if we cannot figure out where the problem is, the last five minutes will be managed to, will be done on uh, reverting back to the original configuration. So 
these are times when uh, people are extremely uh, under extreme pressure because there's a time limit. And this is where the AI troubleshooting part can, uh, can really help. Uh, so Fortinet's uh, uh, AI Assist, which exists already on multiple different products, will be able to do that troubleshooting and it will be able to do it a lot faster than any of the administrators. And all that same time, the administrators can actually do the same normal troubleshooting they would do even without the AI. So it's there really to back up. Uh, we can utilize the AI to do configurations. So we had a couple of examples where uh, a customer that uh, did a task that normally would have taken uh, multiple weeks uh, through the help of the uh, AI assist, it was done in approximately two and a half days. Okay, okay. And in terms of your strategic priorities for uh, this year and, and moving forward, um, uh, how do you plan to expand your regional footprint in the region and also your channel community? So the, the data sovereignty is, uh, is one of the key points for us. And uh, because Middle East is, uh, uh, it's, if we compare to EU, it's EU as a, as a whole looked at uh, with multiple countries falling under the same legislation. But within Middle East, uh, we are dealing independently with each country. Uh, and that is something that uh, is uh, extremely important for our customers as well. Uh, they need to be able to ensure that the data is kept safe and it is kept uh, within the within the country itself. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Nice uh, having you with us today. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the invite.